What is important to realize is that after the First World War, ideas that nowadays would seem rather bizarre to us gained traction at the time. Defeat in World War I leaves Germany humiliated. Compounding their chaos, the German people face a ruined economy, rising global competition, and for many, the weakening of their Christian faith. People then were searching, longing for new ideas, new myths, new concepts of transcendence. And there was a certain willingness to believe the unbelievable. This potent atmosphere gives rise to the neo-cultural Volkisch, or folk tradition movement. The Volkisch movement started at the turn of the 19th to the 20th century that gathered anti-Semites, eugenicists, religious prophets. One central element that combined them all was racism. The notion that the Germanics were the great coming representatives of the Aryan race became very central to the belief systems of the Nazis. One radical belief embraced by many Nazis is known as the cosmic ice theory. It was dreamed up by an Austrian railway engineer, Hans Horbiger. He claimed that the rise and decline of civilizations on Earth can be explained by the occurrence of cosmic ice. This quasi-religious scientific theory proposes that the universe is made of ice and that the stars of the night sky are balls of ice reflecting light from our sun. The theory proposes that tens of thousands of years ago, a ball of ice collided with the Earth, sending fragments rebounding into space to form our moon. This celestial collision is supposed to have sunk the mythical island of Atlantis, forcing the Aryan people who live there to flee and spread out across the planet. The Nazis decide it is their destiny to reinstate these Aryans at the heart of the Third Reich, their new German empire. <laughs> 